Chapter on what has been related about what is recited during Al Witr. Ibn Abbas narrated Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, would recite during Al Witr, Glorify the name of your Lord the Most High, and Say, O you disbelievers, and Say, Allah is one, in each raka'ah. This hadith is graded sahih or authentic. Footnotes 1. Regarding the verse, Glorify the name of your Lord the Most High, it is from Surat Al-A'la, Chapter 87. 2. Regarding the verse, Say, O you disbelievers, it is from Surat Al-Kafirun, Chapter 109. 3. Regarding the verse, Say, Allah is one, it is from Surat Al-Ikhlas, Chapter 112. 4. Regarding the statement, in each raka'ah, see Tuhfat al ahwaldi Abdul Aziz bin Juraj said, I asked Aisha about what recitation Allah's Messenger would perform al witr with. She said, In the first he would recite, Glorify the name of your Lord the Most High. In the second, Say, O you disbelievers. And in the third, Say, Allah is one. And al muawwidatain This hadith is graded da'if or weak. Footnotes 1. Regarding the verse, Glorify the name of your Lord, the Most High. It is from Surat Al-A'la, Chapter 87. 2. Regarding the verse, Say, O you disbelievers, it is from Surat Al-Kafirun, Chapter 109. 3. Regarding the verse, Say, Allah is one, it is from Surat Al-Ikhlas, Chapter 112. Comments The mention of al muawwidatain is not in the narration of Ibn Abbas and Ubay bin Ka'b. May Allah be pleased with them. And some of the imma like Ahmed and Yahya bin Ma'an, denied it. Therefore, only Qul Huwallahu Ahad is preferred for recitation in the last raka'ah.